we're gonna skin this red fox. Figure I'd go ahead and do a little video on how I skin them and flush them and probably board them too. So uh, first thing I do is I cut the front feet off just because fox's nails are super, super sharp and I don't like cutting my gloves up. But uh, first thing I'm gonna do is on this back leg, as you can see, a definite color change here. So we just pop our knife in there, run it all the way up to the anus. And then I do on both sides of the, uh, on the, on the tail here, go ahead and get them. And then same with this back leg here, just follow that color change all the way up. So we got him opened up right here. Normally I'll go ahead and just cut that too. Because I, I save all the glands too off of them when I'm done. But uh, I forgot this part of the tail. And once I get that, I just come through here. And foxes are really thin skinned. So uh, you got to be careful with them because you can rip them. Get that in the camera there but uh yeah just start them back here and a lot of the foxes i mean you can just pull on them and pull and pull and pull you know there's very little very little knife work involved in a fox if you know what you're doing so i just work my fingers all the way through get my finger through there my knife And then just cut that there, pull them on down. You want to be careful down here. You want to make sure you're on your cut and not ripping the ripping the fur here. Right there. See, there's a little pocket that goes up in there. But uh, go ahead and switch this dude's legs out. Do the same thing with this side, just kind of get your fingers in there and work it around. Once you get him worked around so far, you can normally just get your knife up in there and Cut that right off. I don't worry about my legs really. On um, if I keep them short or long, I take care of that once I board them. I'll uh, go ahead and trim them up to size and make sure they're all straight and everything. And this is a male here. So I'm just gonna kind of work that down. <clears throat> Cut right there, right there. Go ahead and pull all that off. Looks like we got a testicle somehow. Let me just cut that skin there. And then you can just work, work your fingers on in here, on the back side of that tail. You know, you can try to put a steel in there and pop it loose a little bit, but they're so thin skinned, I don't, I don't really care to do that. Take our knife, ream around the tail just to kind of free all that up. Then a tail stripper. Pop that tail right out. I'm just 
gonna kind of free all this up right here. Man, the, this this box here has got a real nice, real nice fur on him. Nice and primed up. Today is the 26th of January, and the fox are looking dandy. But uh, I went ahead and pulled traps today just because I. It's well, the temperatures are really supposed to plummet. You get wild. See, once you get so far down, you can just keep pulling. And see, I'm just past the front shoulder here. Take your steel, shove it in there. Kind of free all that up. Then I actually just shoved it through the meat. That wasn't where I was supposed to put it. Free that up a little bit. You know, like I said, you can rip these hides. They're very thin skin, so you gotta, you know, be, just be careful. Take your time. Once I get that all freed up, I just put my thumb in and pull up on the legs. Since we got the front feet cut off, that just pops right out of there. And I just kind of free that up a little bit. Enough to where I can start getting my fingers in there and working it. Like I said, if you guys know what you're doing, it's very little knife work. And see, I got a hole in there now. Just take that steel, push it down, and pull it out. Go ahead and raise this fox up a little bit. And now this is where it gets tricky. If you don't know what you're doing, you're gonna have a bleeder. And sometimes it don't matter if you know what you're doing or not, it's still gonna bleed. But uh, just gotta be careful. Uh, just gotta be careful around these arteries here on the neck. If you nick them, there's gonna be blood all over the place. Like I said, they are thin-skinned animals, so uh, they do cut very easily, too. You can put a hole in the hide quicker than you can see. So we pull her down a little bit. We're to the ears. I like leaving bigger, bigger ear holes on mine. It just seems like it's easier to get the cartilage out, for me at least. And if you leave bigger holes, you can get your finger in the mirror holes to help pull tight. But uh, as you can see, we're getting to where I dispatched it. So that'll there'll always be a little mess there. You just work work on down until you can get to the eyes here and you can pull it a little more but uh you know the more you pull if it's in a bad spot you can start ripping you see we're just working on down these eyes 
There's an eye there. There's that one. You guys can tell my knife's dulling down. Just work it on down. Now we're at the bottom lip. I always just like holding that gum line. Sorry if you guys can't really see this. I'm kind of in a hurry and trying to get this done, but uh. Once I get this bottom lip, you know, I cut it off. It gets cut off in the boarding process anyway, so get that out of the way. Just keep on pulling. Now we're at the nose. There she is. Get this other glove off so I don't make a mess because this hide really ain't that bloody, so I don't want to have to wash it up if I don't have to. But as the eyes can tell, that's a nice red there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get things ready to board it up here. We're going to flush it a little bit because I did notice a little fat on it. Sometimes you don't really need to flesh the fox. I mean, you can knock a little bit of fat off there, but they have a saddle. Well, what they call a saddle, it's a little red membrane. This red membrane here. And you're supposed to leave that on whenever you board it. But see, I got a little piece of meat here. I need to get that off there and get these ears out of here. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to throw this on the flushing beam real quick and get her whipped up.